If you remember, a few months back, I made a couple videos covering SeaWorld Orlando, where I talked about a possible new coaster coming to the park for 2021. Of course, at one point, it was rumored that SeaWorld Orlando may receive the very first B&M Surf Coaster in 2021, which we still didn't really have any idea as to what the Surf Coaster could be. We've only been hearing a bunch of theories thrown around, such as a new stand-up model, a 4D coaster, a water coaster, all kinds of things across the board. And then, just a little while back, SeaWorld Orlando actually received some shipments of track from B&M, which featured the code SFA, which would likely stand for Surf 1, if we follow the codes that are typically found at B&M track. So, we knew that SeaWorld Orlando got a new shipment of B&M track, we knew that they were likely going to be getting a surf coaster, whatever that may be, so this basically confirmed that SeaWorld Orlando is getting the first surf coaster in 2021, most likely. But we still had no idea what in the world the surf coaster concept actually was. That was until just a few days ago, we got some pretty exciting information. And how did we find this information? Well, it's pretty interesting. I'm sure most of you have heard by now that SeaWorld has had liens filed against them for all of their current projects. They are not paying construction companies that are building all of these fancy new rides for them. And in those liens, one of them is for the 2021 coaster at SeaWorld Orlando. And who filed this lien against them? Well, take a look here. Bolliger and Mabillard filed a lien for labor services and materials consisting of engineering design and fabrication of a custom launch coaster. So obviously SeaWorld Orlando has not announced any type of new launch coaster yet. They have Icebreaker which is built by Premier Rides that was slated to open for 2020, but Bolliger and Mabiard is building a custom launch coaster it seems for SeaWorld Orlando and this of course would be the track which they received recently with the code SFA on it. So this ties everything together pretty nicely. So now we can pretty much infer that the surf coaster is some kind of launch coaster from B&M. And this is a theory that hasn't been talked about as much. Although more recently a theory about the surf coaster actually being a launch coaster has come to light. There is this concept image of a new coaster coming to Ocean Park in China. And a lot of people just kind of thought, oh this is going to be, you know, a, a, one of the new school Vacoma launch coasters. At first glance, it does look like a newer Vacoma launch coaster, which would be fantastic as well for Ocean Park. But here's the thing. The track in that concept art looks pretty similar to B&M track. However, the cars in that concept image are only two across. Well, if B&M is going to do a launch coaster, I feel like this could be sort of their take on a blitz coaster or some kind of multi-launch coaster. And I feel like if they would make the trains two across instead of the four across like they typically do, they could redesign the track and make it so it's able to maneuver much tighter transitions and turns and just take everything at a faster pace. Which makes me think even more that the surf coaster could possibly be their take on like a blitz coaster by Intamin, which I think would be fantastic. So with B&M building a custom launch coaster, I think it's pretty exciting. B&M, they are one of the most innovative companies in the industry. They've introduced tons of really forward-thinking concepts in the industry, things that really blew the doors open for many other companies down the road. But in recent years, they've just been kind of seemingly following this formula where they found like this perfect balance of what they should have in a ride and a lot of it just kind of runs together, and they haven't really done much new recently. So they have this new concept, and I'm really hoping that they push themselves with this, and I'm really hoping it's something maybe a little bit out of the box for B&M, and I really do think it will be. You know, looking at the concept art once again from Ocean Park, it appears that this coaster has lots of sideways 
twisting banked airtime hills going back and forth, and they appear to be pretty tight, compact elements, which is quite a bit different from pretty much every B&M out there. Of course, B&M is known for these huge, graceful airtime machines and these huge loopers that are just very drawn out for the most part, at least the more recent B&M rides. And it appears to me, based on the concept art and what we know and taken everything into consideration, the fact that they have this new concept called a surf coaster, I feel like everything sort of lends itself to a more compact, more intense launch coaster experience, especially when you think about like the idea of surfing and, you know, riding the waves and it, it gets a little wild, I guess. I don't really know how to uh, elaborate on it in the best way. But I think you get what I'm saying. I think that a launched Blitz style of coaster or something along those lines would work really well for B&M. And I think it is great that they're coming out with this concept now. Launch coasters are all the rage right now. I mean, launch coasters are just being added left and right. I mean, everybody these days is getting a launch coaster. Maybe it will be some kind of multi-launch coaster. Maybe it'll have forwards and backwards launches because that's also really popular right now. And I think B&M is sort of striking while it's still hot. I think if they would have waited too long to roll this out, they maybe feared that they wouldn't be able to jump on that bandwagon. But I think it's awesome that one of the premier manufacturers out there who has maybe become a little stagnant in recent years, although they're great at what they do, I think it's awesome that they're possibly branching out and entering this newer market and sort of putting their own spin on the launch coaster concept. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what this 2021 coaster is for SeaWorld Orlando, as long as everything still happens as planned. Of course, nothing is normal right now, so hopefully this project still moves forward. Hopefully they can still bring us this surf coaster concept. You know, B&M hasn't really dealt with launch coasters in the past. They built the Incredible Hulk at Islands of Adventure, but they did not build the launch for that ride. They designed the ride, and that was it. The launch was not designed or built by B&M. And then Thunderbird at Holiday World was the first launch coaster that B&M made where they were actually involved in the design manufacture of the launch and everything like that. That's it as far as B&M launch coasters. Besides, of course, the near clone of the Incredible Hulk currently being built. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys excited for the B&M Surf Coaster? Do you think it's just going to be kind of more of the same, just kind of copying what other people are doing? Let me know your thoughts on this, because this is pretty exciting information that's come to light here. Finally, after, what, a year and a half, two years maybe now, we have some good direction on what the Surf Coaster could actually be. It appears it's not a stand-up, and I know I've said in the past the stand-up theory kind of would make sense. I've completely changed my mind on that. The stand-up coaster would make absolutely no sense for B&M to do again. I, I've completely changed my mind on that. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, be sure to like my page, Coaster Daddy, on Facebook. Follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.